So, are we over the result for the other day? The result against uh, Copenhagen, of course, the European exit. Uh, it's had its toll on a lot of us, right? Uh, look at the positives. I've asked many of my followers, is it going to define our season? No, it's not going to define our season. What is going to define our season is domestic, right? That's our main focus this year. I'm not going to be one of the fans that comes out and says, Ah, doesn't matter, I'm not type. Because see, at the end of the day, of course it matters, right? It hurts more the fact that we had such a good European run this year and then it just just completely blew up, unexpectedly. Uh, knowing fine well that any other day we could have easily bet that Copenhagen side and knocked them out. Look at the positive side. We've got this big Scottish Cup game tomorrow and I'm filming it right now because... I wanted to wait till the Rangers game was done. And of course, Rangers are now put out of the Scottish Cup. Be a possible season without any silverware for them. Unless they pull off a miracle and win the Europa League. Can you see it? So, let's get into today's game. Well, tomorrow's game. Since St. Johnson, of course, got a... T <laughs> funny enough. Got a 2 each draw against uh, Rangers last week. Uh, I actually did watch parts of the game. They did perform quite well. Uh, but of course, St. Johnson are the team that we never tend to play bad against, right? One we always tend to have a great performance against them. Uh, of course, we had a possibly the best start to a game that I've seen Celtic play was against Johnson this season. I think it was about a month ago. Uh, the one that we were up 4-0, I think it was, by half time. Absolutely ran away with that game. So, no, go into the game, right? I don't know if Brown's back to full fitness. I know he was playing the other day, but it was clear that he wasn't fully back to fitness. Uh, I think that going into the game, we need to go with two up top again. We can't go with the one up top. It does not work for us. It works against maybe certain teams, but I think to make sure we get through this game, because I think it is vital. Obviously, winning the league is pro proper the main target for me, right? The main target for most Celtic fans is, of course, winning nine in a row. But winning a treble is probably a bit more out there now, especially with the fact that Rangers are out of the Scottish Cup. Uh, and we're not in Europe. So, Forrest, will he get dropped? No, I don't think so. A lot of Celtic fans are calling for it because he had a not great performance against against Copenhagen. Not been great in the last so much games. But Forrest has been a dedicated worker, of course, for Celtic. And I'm not just going to go with that term, but I think that maybe against Johnson, this will be a wake-up call. So, I want us to go out there and show what we're all about. Show that we're not the team that's just going to go on a bad streak now, show that we'll return as champions the way we are, the good team that we actually are, the high quality team that we actually are, prove a point to so much people that are against it. Uh, aye, so Griffiths and Edward have to be starting up front together. I think, yeah, I would say so. Uh, Simunovic, <laughs> been a massive bomb scare. Uh, does he start? Possibly. Possibly. But it totally depends how he goes about his business. Does Beaton get into centre-back? I don't know. Uh, personally, I would do so. I don't know if he's injured or not, but I would love to see Beaton playing centre-back with Julian and Ayer. I think that would be quite solid. We need to get into this game with a strong mentality. That's the main thing. That, that's all we can do. Go in with a strong mentality and come out with the result we want because we want to get through to the semi-final and we want to get through to the final and we want to win the Scottish Cup. So... My prediction, however, of course, is a Celtic victory. I think we will win 3-0. We need to get in a sense that we need to be wary. We can't just risk the defence being too open because you never know. St. Johnson could come out and attack uh, and get a goal. It's capable. They scored two against Rangers last week. I'm more than confident that Celtic are going to win. But we still need to be a bit wary of how the game's going to go. It'll be a great performance for the boys. I think they're going to react. I really do think they're going to react. Uh, Massive game, like I said, it is massive to get through this stage in the Scottish Cup to try and get the Scottish Cup under their belts to get another treble to push forward for the league. It, it's, it all comes into place. Just follow the Twitter, the Instagram, uh, subscribe to the channel, of course, if you're new to it, and keep up to date with posts.